Well, good afternoon, all. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I had turned on to uh, this dirt road down here because it said Glover Park. Um, less so about Glover Park and more so about a cemetery down the road. But, uh, but then I saw this here. Rene Perron, Ballfields, Glover Park. So I thought I would do a quick jaunt of this place. Um, looks like it's just baseball, right? just for baseball. They do have lights up on these poles here. Those are lights up there. That's the, they look like lights. And um, so some bleachers right here. More lights along here. <clears throat> this is Glover Park right over there, and that's on that uh, on that right there. And that looks like we have the batter up area right um, there. Dugout is right over here. It's one of the dugouts. The one's over there. But uh, gosh, I haven't filmed a, I haven't filmed um, a dugout or a ball field since I did the one at Burlington High School. Nice uh, concrete pad here. It appears to be pressure, pressure tree or wood. And then, uh, not going to walk the whole ball field, you can see it from here. See, those are lights on those poles as well. And the other dugout. You see, oh yeah, we see the folks who donated money and the companies that donated money to make this possible. Luke Thompson, Timber Works, or Green Timber Works, Northeast Kingdom Info Associates, Parker Pie Pizza, Old School Builders. And uh, over yonder, where the advertisers over here. This is the closest I've ever been on a ball field. <laughs> because actually the one at uh, Burlington High School, I believe was flooded. It was there were definitely huge mud puddles and I, I'll do a lot to film for you, but I won't do that. <laughs> because I wasn't wearing uh, boots. Here we have the Barton Area Chamber, RC Inc., Curry's Market, Rogers Country Inn, John Rogers Masonry, Evansville Trading Post, Parkview Garage Inc., Pinecrest Motel and Cabins, American Legion of Barton, The Barton Chronicle, Deep Mountain Maple, CNC Supermarket, Racine Tent Rentals, and Union House Nursing. What I find fascinating about that kind of stuff is how long the businesses that donated to to um, to have these dugouts built um, last compared to um, compared to how long these last. See what I mean? And let's walk inside this one. Huh? What is that? Okay, what? What does this can hold? Yeah, don't know. Definitely netting. Nice view from here, isn't it? You really see the ball field, and that's sort of the purpose of the, of the dugout. Besides keeping all the players in one place, um, and that's the one we were just in. Over, over yonder there. I'm guessing that taller fencing is to keep the balls in the park, as opposed to when they are cracked and sent to sent aloft. 
That's it. Oh, I see a, I do see an electrical plug right there. See the dangling right there? And uh, I wonder how many lumen these um, lights are. Oh, you know, <laughs> that up there, let me see if I can show you, is uh, similar to what I have on my, um, on my rig here, right, for when I film. And that is very, very bright. So imagine these are extraordinarily bright as well. Pretty nifty. We can see over there, there's a uh, park up there. It looks like maybe uh, garden plots. With the porta potty up there. Anyway, nifty stuff. Alrighty, well, this is Patricia traveling for history. Thought you'd enjoy seeing this uh, this park, this baseball park here, Glover Park. It's spelled Glover, I know, but it is pronounced Glover. And on that note, thanks so much for watching. Uh, today, hanging out with me as I walked part of this Glover Park in Glover, Vermont. And until I see you again, hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.